What's going on guys, Hobo Handliner here. I've got a really, really awesome video for you today. Trying a new bait, sweet corn. 50 cents per can from Walmart. This is a really good video. I hope you guys stick around till the end. So long story short, I was starting with a float rig, got some creek chubs, the fish were starting to bite, lost a few trout off camera. Of course, I lost the trout off camera, but ended up snagging and losing my only float. And I was like, ah, oh, bummer. What the heck, how am I gonna catch these fish now? So I ended up switching to a bottom rig, just a pinch on sinker and a number eight bait holder hook and two kernels of corn per uh, cast. And let me tell you what, guys, these trout started picking this corn up off the bottom. It's a really good video, great bait. Um, so anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Didn't go as planned, but it was kind of in a good way. So uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I'll see you guys after the intro. Hope you Okay, well, I guess bottom rig is the way to go. <laughs> Instantly got a trout. Instantly. He picked it right off the bottom. And I did bring my stringer. So, we're going to string this bad boy up. Woo, jumper. Maybe losing the float was a sign to switch to a bottom rig. I didn't realize trout would be that aggressive on something literally resting on the bottom. I mean, I'm not using... Anything that floats, and he's caught me in the bushes. Oh, good grief. Okay. Story of the day. I'm gonna be snagged on all kinds of stuff. Sorry about the camera angle. Let me get this guy out. I got him. I got him. There we go. Oh, nice big, healthy rainbow trout. All right. Whew. Hooked in the bottom of the lip, too. Boom, bottom rig trout. All right, look at that hook set. I'm surprised he stayed on. Right in the bottom, oh no, never mind. I'm not surprised he stayed on. It went all the way through. In the top, out the bottom. So, trout peck corn right off the bottom, guys. How about that? Get a picture of him, put him on the stringer, and keep going. There's a fish. It's not a trout. I believe it's a big creek chub. Let's see what it is. Yeah. Yeah, creek chub for sure. Got him on that corn. I uh, had a big rainbow and he broke me off. Must have gotten me tangled up in a rock or something. But second fish of the evening. Good little five inch creek chub. Let him go. Let's keep going for some trout. I did see some palomino in here and they were looking interested in the corn. So maybe we'll catch our first palomino. That'd be awesome. There's a fish. Oh yeah. Just trying to lose this guy. Another nice rainbow, another really nice rainbow. Good eater size. On that corn, okay, swimming right at me. 
Don't want to lose them in the in the grass here. Come on up here, buddy. Woohoo! This corn, guys, one of the most effective trout baits I've ever found already. Another gorgeous fish. Feisty rainbow. That's two. You can see my one on the stringer over there on the tree. Let's keep going. All right, guys, I'm going in, going in barefoot so I can get a better angle, but I'm getting tons of bites still, just gonna move into the water. There's another fish, guys. They're picking it off the bottom, and sometimes it's hard to feel the bite. And then you'll realize your line's moved, and you didn't actually feel anything. I think this guy's hooked real good. Oh, yeah, down in the guts. He's a fat trout, too. Let me see if we can get him on the stringer. Sorry, I know it's weird camera angles, I know. I am barefoot in this creek. Trying to catch trout for you guys. Oh yeah, that hook is buried down in his guts. Good thing we're keeping him today. But yeah, like I was saying, they grab this corn and since I'm not using an actual Carolina rig, I'm just using it resting on the bottom. Um, yeah, whew, he's going to get torn up pretty bad. It's a bummer. Anyways, um, you, it's hard to feel the bite because you don't have that bead and that swivel and stuff. So they're kind of picking it off the ground, off the bottom of the creek and moving it before I realize they've actually got it in their mouth. Um, but then I'm able to give them a good yank and a good hook set because, well, it's down in their guts. I didn't even realize it. So boom, trout number three. It's looking like we might catch our limit today, folks, on this corn. If that's the case, this will be one of the best trout baits by far that I've ever used. Let's keep going. There's a pesky little creek chub. I'm trying to go for this palomino that's down here at the bottom of this hole. Got another creek chub instead. All right, bud, chill out. I'm not after you guys.
Oh, there we go. Once again, didn't even realize I had one. This is one of the bigger size of the day. It's trout number four. Beautiful, huge rainbow. Well, I shouldn't say huge, but beautiful bright colors. Get him up on the bank. There we go. He dumped my corn, that's okay. Feisty little guy. Let me see if I can get him up here for the camera. Oh my goodness. All right, stop squirming, bud. You're done. Nice trout. Oh, he's not going anywhere. That hook's under his eye. There we go, I got him out. Okay. I got him. Trout number four, guys. I'll add him onto the stringer and try to get one more. Got my little homemade paracord stringer on this metal pipe that's sticking out of the ground. Pretty convenient. I almost wonder if it's something to do with when they do trout tournaments here, because sometimes they do. There we go. Four trout on the stringer. One to go. We got our limit. Let's see how fast we can make it happen. Another one of those creek chubs, little pesky critters. They'll eat just about anything that's on the bottom. Worms, corn, apparently. They've hit rubber lures like trout magnets. One more trout to go, let's go, man. Dang it, another pesky creek chub. Well, I think that's it for the trout, guys. This will be the last fish. I'm almost at a battery. The last, like, 10 fish even off camera were these pesky little guys. Can't seem to get away from them. So, I'll get you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so that's a wrap. Didn't quite get our limit, but we got four. I was not expecting that many. Um, yeah amazing amazing trout bait it's uh, early summer right now guys uh these fish are usually chasing bugs and things like that but yeah what the heck corn 50 cent bait uh that much corn a whole can probably would have lasted me six or seven fishing trips at the rate i used it today so that's really good return on your money so yeah one more look at that stringer for beautiful rainbow on great value brand 50 cent can corn pretty awesome no wonder uh, old timers like to use that now it is illegal in some states but here in pennsylvania it is not illegal so i'm covered there anyways hope you guys enjoyed this one it's a beautiful day lots of trout awesome day of fishing i'm gonna go home clean them up stick them in the freezer till next time guys till i try something new i'm the hobo handliner signing off